How do you get a big company to sign you and your podcast, right? Great question I was asked the other day, and I would love to know the answer to this myself because I'd love to know how to do it too. So I did the usual thing that I do with this project, and that was to have a look at some research and see what other companies do and the big companies in particular do. So I started off with Gimlet, perhaps as usual, because I think they are a really good example of the most of the modern podcast company who's really hit the big time. So if you look at their first signing, which was Reply All, that was the first one they got. And the presenters of that, PJ Voigt, Alex Goldman and Emmanuel Drotzi, all came from public radio. So they were experienced broadcasters. And the show came from a show which already existed called TLDR on WNYC, which is NPR. So they had already proven that they got a show format at work and an audience who were interested in that as well. Let's take another one. Wendy Zuckerman who presents Science Versed. Now, she had a career. She was an experienced um, person in, in media with ABC Television Australia. And she was also a writer and had built a really strong following around her show. One of the things that Gimlet actually said when they signed her up was they said that... Um, that she had got such a great, she built such a great following herself that all they really needed to do was to help boost that marketing that she was already doing so that she could focus on the show and the content and they could help her to reach that whole other level. Dr. Alexandra Sachs presents Motherhood Sessions, which is a sort of psychological program looking at family psychology. And she had written for Marie Claire, The Times, Forbes, Vogue, Cosmopolitan. So she was already an established media figure. She knew how to gain attention and get her name around in the media. And that in turn obviously helps to promote the podcast. Now, if you look for something slightly different, Story Pirates is a children's podcast. And as I say, it's a little bit different because they were entertainers for children. They've been doing really well and they got they got mentioned by John Stewart from The Daily Show and The New York Times as well. But also looking at Gimlet's roster, they also clearly provided a niche that Gimlet were clearly looking to fill. You know, they got these other shows like science and psychology and journalism, but they didn't have anything for younger audiences. So clearly that was the right fit for the demographic and the niche that they wanted to fill at that time. And finally, Mogul as well is another great example. Now, this was the hip hop show, the, the history of hip hop show. And Combat Jack was an insider in hip hop. You know, he represented Jay Z and many others. He was a, a legal expert. So, but the point was that his contacts book was absolutely amazing. He could reach these people and get them to talk. So the CV that you need in order to get signed up by one of these big podcast production companies at the absolute top end is pretty intimidating. You know, if you think about it, what do we need from a list? We need a proven record, a contacts book that no one else has, like um, uh, with Combat Chat there, proven ability to present and generate media attention, followers who engage with you and you have a real relationship, a real connection with, a niche the company is looking to fill. You may have the most amazing show on earth, but if they don't need that filled in that, their slot at the moment, they may not be interested at all. But one of the things that I used to say as a journalist was that everyone, you know, I mean, literally everyone, when you start to really dig down, has a unique insight into something that other people don't have and would be interested in. And as I say, the more interesting that is to other people and the more you can express that in an interesting way, then it would actually be you and not a celebrity who would be best placed to deliver that content. You know, if you had done that, if you'd given that great, interesting insight, I would have put you on national radio if you could have delivered that. And who knows who would have heard you then and where that could have propelled you. So don't think that because these people have already become celebrities that it's not open to anyone else because they had to get there somehow and I bet there's a story inside everyone that could actually potentially start you on this path as well. <laughs> Maybe they'll be for me as well. Fingers crossed.